everybody, Phil Midler here with Houston Kiteboarding. Today we're going to show you how to take the replacement Sentinel kit for a slingshot, which is basically a kit to take your old bar and turn it into above the bar Sentinel system um, just with this kit. I'm going to show you how to install this on a 2014 comp stick bar. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unpack the new Sentinel system. In the kit you're going to have a replacement bungee, which you should just replace. You should just put the new one on there. Um, this is the leash attachment for the bungee, the one you know, the one uh, line that the kite goes down to when you release. And then you're going to have a complete Sentinel assembly with the cleat and your D-Power chicken line here. Um, so everything's in there, everything we need. Um, after we get that unpacked, we're going to disassemble the old bar. Now you don't have to take the rear lines off. Leave them alone. I'm just going to unwrap this and I'm going to take the uh, the end of the chicken line off with this screw right here and I'm going to basically run that line all the way through. There's another round piece on this bar. Um, where is it? Here, this guy. This little ball. This is an Allen wrench um, nut here or nut uh, screw. You're going to take that out and slide it all the way. I'm going to do it in, in uh, fast motion here so you guys don't have to sit and watch me do it. Okay, so I got the guts off this bar. Here is the bar with the rear line still attached. Set that down. The um, front lines are still on the swivel. The new system does not come with a swivel. You can see I took this guy off here. It's literally just a lark's head, goes around the end. Um, there's one funny piece about taking the chicken line off. This ball here with the Allen wrench, you undo it and then you slide it up off the end of the chicken line. Um, this guy right here, you can't get the end of the chicken line off this because it's bigger at the end. So what you do is you just force the thinner part of the line out these slots. Okay, so you're going to remove this bungee here. Take it off all the way. Like this. And now you have your two front lines which are loose. And you're ready to hook up your, uh, your new system. So the way you start with that is inside the swivel or the uh, cleat side, there's this little bulge. You can take a screwdriver and just kind of pull that bulge out. What it is, is the end of the chicken line that's actually shoved through itself like this. You can see it. I'm going to take the end off that so it's just straight and flush. Once you do that, you can pull that piece through like so. It does, right? Next, you're going to take next you're going to take this piece off here, which is two Allen head screws. Um, they're smaller than that. They're about this size. Take these off. Okay, so those are out. They're long screws here. Um, this piece just slides out. Inside, that line kind of goes around the outside. We're going to pull that all the way out. So you can get your screwdriver in there. Just kind of get that line out of there. Um, all the way. There we go. We're going to pull this loose end all the way through. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we're going to pull the rest of it through the other side of the uh, the cleat assembly just like this once it's through there we have a long chicken line right this here. chicken line is what's going to go up and around this and this part's really easy to not screw up because you just put it through so then you basically assemble it in reverse i'm going to put this through here if i can actually get it up and around that And around so okay, so that's back together now we're ready to reassemble um, the rest of the lower unit okay, whatever you do before you put this piece on make sure you run 
the chicken line through the bar, right? I just forgot to do it, and I've done this a bunch. Um, so it can happen to anybody. Um, so now, once it's through there, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It's very important. Inside this, um, there's, there's a middle section, and then there's two kind of, or there's a circle that goes around the outside. The line, the chicken line's actually gonna be around that middle section here has to go around the middle section. So it's gonna go in one hole, around here, and out the other hole. That way it can slide when you're adjusting the height of the cleat inside. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so getting this chicken line back through these holes, you know, and around the inside, it's kind of a pain. Um, if you have really strong kite line, a uh, really thin thread, threaded uh, like sewing line, it'll work. Um, I find that that same Allen wrench you used to get this piece off, you can use to kind of force this through. To so get it through as much as you can with your fingers, and just take this Allen Allen uh, key, kind of thread it inside the actual line, and just push on that uh, sewn part, and it'll start going through. Once you get it through a little bit, just take your needle nose pliers, reach down in there, grab it, pull it through the rest of the way. And that's exactly the same for the other side. Remember what we said though, put it around the inside. I'm gonna do it and I'll show you. Like that. And once it's around, you put it through. Um, and you can do that after you put it through, but it's gotta be like that, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Get that sucker in there. Just get a little bit poking through, grab your pliers. You should be able to get the rest of the way. So that's it. So as I pull this tight, I'm just gonna force it to one side and that's what it should look like on the inside. Just like that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the end of this line, we're gonna bring it back through the cleat assembly. So it's another small hole here. Um, it's not impossible to get it through there, you can. Um, I'm gonna use a thin piece of sewing thread here. It's just a really strong, thin thread. I'm gonna make a lark's head on the end of it, just like a kite line, like this. I'm gonna put it on the end of this guy, like this. And I'm gonna run the end of this through the hole I wanna go through. And this just helps it kinda of go where you want it. You can see uh, it's just an easy way to kinda of get it to, to go in the right hole. So. You're not gonna be able to push it or pull it all the way through with just the thread, it'll break. So what you do is you kinda of get it in there, give it a little tug and it comes right out. So that's it. So this end part is a little confusing. If you remember, Slingshot had this double back through itself to make that cleat at the end of here. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take that same Allen wrench key, we're gonna kinda of make a little hole in this. You, you don't really want to get in between the fibers of the spectra. You want to just kind of, you know, work it between the braids that are already there. That's pretty good. Get a good hole going. Once you get a nice hole, widen it so it's big enough for uh, this guy. And then you just shove it in there. Make that happen. You want to get it all the way through like there's this. a close-up of the end of the um, spectra line going through itself like this that's it that's what it's supposed to look like goes through we suck this back in and that's it now you're all set so you can see the uh, all the way to the swivel is now completed we just have to put see it stuck in there this is gonna cleat just fine our lower unit is uh, is set up correctly so if I move this piece up and down you can see this can adjust freely and that's what we were going for um, so now we're gonna put on the lower unit which is here I'm just gonna stick this on there and put those two um, long Allen wrench bolts through make sure that this is tight up inside so it doesn't catch any of that uh, spectral line next we're gonna run the safety line through um, we want the safety line unhooked up to the uh, leash attachment here.
because we're going to take it or we're going to lark's head it to the end of the uh, front line, right? So when I unhook the front line, I kind of left it here. Um, you can do this afterward as well. It's just a pain because you have to run, run it all the way through the, the front line. If you do it this way, it's super easy. It's like that. This will go all the way up and get caught there, and that's perfect. Um, okay, we're going to run this down. It goes through the outside of this, like that, through the center of the bar, like that. And then you run it through the center of this, and it actually just goes right through really nice, unlike the other ones where it got caught in the release system. Um, the new Sentinel system is really easy. There it is. Uh, let's see, Sentinel, this is it. Goes through the loop, and then around the outside, you just kind of make it happen there. Just like that. Okay, that is it. So now, our bar has been completely changed. We have the new uh, Sentinel system on, with uh, the above the bar D-power, swivel on the bottom, and everything is complete and finished. Good luck guys and we'll see you next time.